Welcome back to our virtual ocean adventure. In this video, we'll discover some of the birds who spend most of their time across the world's oceans. These birds are of a variety of shapes, sizes and colours, but for all of them, the marine environment is home. Let's find out more as we discover seabirds. Many bird species live on or near the coast. Seabirds are birds that rely, at least most of the time, on the ocean to survive. Their bodies are adapted to the marine world. Let's see if we can identify some of them. Let's play Spot the Seabird. Can you match the description with the picture? Which is an Arctic tern? The body and wings of the Arctic tern are white and they have a black cap on their heads. Breeding adults have red beaks and legs. Let's see another picture of the three options. They're built for flying long distances, so have a small lightweight body, long thin wings and short legs. Have you worked it out? Yes, this is the Arctic Tern. Because they travel across different oceans and continents as part of their migration routes, they're found in many places, including Northern England and Scotland. Let's spot another seabird. The gannet is the largest European seabird with a wingspan of 1.8 metres. It has brilliant white feathers and a pale yellow head. When flying, it has a streamlined shape from its long, dagger-like bill to its pointed tail. So which one is the gannet? Yes, it's this one. Gannets are great at diving. They hit the water at a high speed, the momentum taking them down 15 metres or more, where it uses its wings and those big webbed feet to swim in pursuit of fish. Time to spot another seabird. Which one is a herring gull? Herring gulls are silvery grey above and white below with pink legs. They have a white head which is sometimes streaky during the winter and black wingtips with white spots. They have a yellow bill with a red spot near the tip. Have you worked it out? Yes, this one is a herring gull. These large noisy gulls are found throughout the year around the coasts of the UK, often in seaside towns. Let's have a go at identifying one more seabird. The puffin is black above with a white belly and cheeks a large multicoloured bill and orange webbed feet. Which one is the puffin? Yes, it's this one. Puffins are loyal to one another, each year mating with the same bird and producing one chick. Their chicks are known as pufflings. Let's find out more about puffins. Puffins have black and white feathers and orange feet. They are well known for their colourful beaks during mating season. After the breeding season, the outer shell of their beaks will fall away to reveal a shorter and duller coloured bill. Puffins are diving seabirds. They have short wings which are a useful tool for swimming when they dive beneath the waves. Puffins eat fish such as herring and hake and also plankton and squid. They dive underwater to catch fish and can stay there for up to one minute before returning to the cliff holding several fish in their beaks at once. During the spring and summer, colonies gather on cliff edges and islands to breed. Puffins use rocky crevices or build their nests by burrowing into the ground with their feet and beaks. They're clean animals and have a separate toilet area in their burrows. We've explored so much of the ocean together on our virtual ocean adventure. From rock pools to rayfish, we've dived beneath the waves and discovered the rich variety of life in our oceans. We've even explored the deepest points in our oceans and found all sorts of interesting creatures. As we resurfaced, we've met some feathered friends who call the ocean home too. But the adventure's not quite over yet. If you've been following along and working through our resource pack, you'll know we've been searching for a pod of rare beaked whales. Could that be them? Join us for the final part of our virtual ocean adventure when we'll find out more about whales, dolphins and other mammals who live in the ocean. And here's a reminder to download your virtual ocean adventure resource pack. You'll find the link below this video. The virtual ocean adventure was brought to you by the Twinkle Home Ed team.